Construction News Tracker is presented by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. The nation's construction industry officials are eagerly awaiting the outcome of congressional action on a continuing resolution to carry forward the nation's business beyond recess December 18th. The present legislation that covers the federal DOT and other agencies actually expires December 11th. Any COVID relief package under discussion would be tied to a $1.4 trillion year-end spending bill required to avert a government shutdown. Talks are proceeding, but if lawmakers stumble, a temporary spending bill would be needed as a bridge into 2021. A major reduction in capital spending for 2021 is being proposed by the New York, New Jersey Port Authority. The authority is asking for $2.1 billion for next year in construction spending, a reduction of $1.2 billion as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic economic fallout. Overall, the agency seeks to reduce its total outlay to $7.3 billion, a drop of $1.3 billion from 2020, and includes job cuts and system reductions. The Port Authority oversees aviation, rail, transportation, and seaports in the greater New York City area. Officials say the intense drop in vehicle and passenger use from the pandemic has them anticipating a $3 billion loss in revenue in 2021. Total values of construction put in place for October rise on continued residential strength. But other than that, the pandemic continues to exercise its will against the construction industry. Construction put in place total value for October rose 1.3 percent, while non-residential construction spending remained flat, breaking a four-month string of declines. Residential construction spending, on the other hand, is up 9.6 percent year-to-date in the fastest start since the Great Recession. For October, 9 of 16 subcategories scanned lost position during October. Private non-residential construction spending continues to slide. An October survey by AGC of its members concluded that the pandemic has clouded the construction industry outlook, disrupted vital supply chains, and undermined demand for projects nationwide. Depressed construction employment has hit every state. New York and Vermont posted the worst losses in February, while Maryland recorded the worst job losses over a month's time. AGC Chief Economist Ken Simonson said that on the flip side, 36 states in the District of Columbia added new jobs in October, but seasonably adjusted employment in October was lower than in February in 37 states. So what does the future hold for contractors? Many nationwide have decided to hunker down as the COVID virus continues to surge. They threat about the potential for more stop work orders from local governments, as many conclude that their continued project developments could be in jeopardy. Despite current developments in the vaccine industry, contractors remain concerned that in some areas, officials are planning on new shutdowns until the vaccines become reality. All the parties in a massive light rail project under construction in Maryland have agreed to new terms of the deal in order to keep it alive. The consortium, known as the Purple Line Partners, will charge forward without Floor Corporation as a partner, which quit in September over delays and cost escalations on the $2 billion endeavor. Meridian and Star America will remain as partners as the Maryland DOT will pay an additional $250 million to salvage the private partnership deal. The contractors had alleged $800 million in cost overruns on the light rail project. Construction work on a new Gordie Howe International Bridge between Windsor, Ontario, Canada and Detroit has continued despite the COVID pandemic. The Bridge Authority is reporting that despite major changes in work regulations, the $4.4 billion project is on time for completion in 2024. Massive tower cranes have been installed at each end of the Canadian and U.S. work sites for work on twin 772-foot towers being erected after the new year once bridge foundation work is completed. The Chicago Water Commission expected to soon release details of its plan to replace thousands of water service lines in the Windy City. 
Activists for years have urged the city to begin a replacement program after data showed high levels of lead in Chicago's water system. An estimated 400,000 service lines are said to be affected. This is not unlike the effort undertaken a couple of years ago in Flint, Michigan, after similar problems were discovered in that city. The Chicago price tag could run as high as $10 billion. In closing, one enemy is too many and a hundred friends too few. This is Construction News Tracker, looking over the industry that makes the world a better place. Presented by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Follow us on social media, Twitter, using hashtag Construction News, YouTube at 4constructionpros, and on Facebook at forward slash 4constructionpros. Each of us at 4constructionpros would like to take this opportunity to express our best wishes for a peaceful, and joyful holiday season as the streaming web never ends. Construction News Tracker is presented by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com.